Meet Nancy Roman, NASA's planned telescope that will succeed the Hubble. NASA has renamed its next-generation Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope after Nancy Roman, the agency's first chief astronomer known as the mother of Hubble. NASA plans to launch the Roman Space Telescope in the mid-2020s. Nancy Roman joined NASA just six months after the agency's establishment in 1959. According to NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine, quote, It is because of Nancy Grace Roman's leadership and vision that NASA became a pioneer in astrophysics and launched Hubble. The Roman Space Telescope has a silvered primary mirror array that is 2.4 meters wide, about the same size as the Hubble's. The Roman will include the 300-megapixel wide field instrument, which has a field of view 100 times greater than the Hubble's infrared instrument. One image from the Roman will hold as much detail as 100 Hubble images. In addition, the new telescope will carry the coronagraph instrument, a high-contrast imaging and spectroscopy device. The Roman will survey the Milky Way with the aim of finding around 2,600 exoplanets. Its primary mission will last five years, with another five in a potential extended mission. NASA also plans to use the Roman Space Telescope to find clues about dark energy, which could yield the key to understanding the expansion of the cosmos. Roman's legacy, the Hubble Telescope, will remain the largest and most powerful space telescope ever launched to space until her namesake takes its place. Nearly three decades after its launch, the Hubble continues to find strange phenomena. Just last year, Hubble spotted a never-before-seen moon orbiting Neptune. Neptune's official moon count is now up to 14 after a team of astronomers used NASA's Hubble Space Telescope to shed some much-needed light on the mini-satellite. According to the SETI Institute, a tiny moon discovered orbiting Neptune in 2013 has now been named Hippocamp. It is one of the planet's seven inner moons, and the newest of its 14 known moons. Naming conventions for the Neptune system requires something out of Greco-Roman undersea mythology. In Greek mythology, Hippocamp is a half-fish, half-horse creature. It's related to Hippocampus, which is the scientific name for the seahorse and the name of a major component of the human brain that is seahorse-shaped. Hippocamp measures about 34 kilometers across and is one one-thousandth the mass of Proteus, which at 418 kilometers across is Neptune's largest inner satellite. The small moon was observed to be orbiting unusually close to Proteus, even though such a large moon should have gravitationally swept it aside and cleared its orbital path. In a paper published in the journal Nature, SETI researchers hypothesized that Hippocamp is a fragment of Proteus that broke off following a collision with a comet billions of years ago. Also last year, the Hubble identified tiny space oddities called buckyballs, the size of 60 atoms. The Hubble Space Telescope has identified electrically charged molecules in space that are shaped like soccer balls. According to NASA, Buckminster Fullerene, or buckyballs, are molecules made of 60 carbon atoms arranged in a hollow sphere in the rough shape of a soccer ball. Buckyballs, which are also called C60, have been found on Earth in some rare cases, in rocks and minerals or in soot created from high-temperature combustion. Though buckyballs have been seen in space before, scientists using the Hubble Space Telescope recently discovered for the first time ionized C60 within the interstellar medium, or ISM. The C60 becomes ionized when ultraviolet light from stars strips off an electron from the molecule, giving it a positive charge. The ISM is the diffuse matter and radiation that exists in between solar systems, which was previously considered too harsh an environment to sustain complex carbon-based molecules. Though most of it contains helium and hydrogen, it contains many other compounds that have not been identified. Researchers say they will continue searching the universe to see where else they can locate C60+. The Epoch Times reports that at the moment, observations seem to be pointing to a widespread presence in the Milky Way. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.